bleeping jeepers, it's Tyler. Borrowed my buddy's JK today because today we're gonna be installing a soft top. Now a few months ago, Best Top contacted us about the new NX Glide fastback soft top that they've developed for the JKs and the JKUs. They asked if we do an install video of none of us have JKs. So I called up my buddy and it took him about .002 seconds to decide that he would volunteer his Jeep for this video. So today we're going to install the NX Glide soft top from Best Top. I'm going to show you step by step how to do that and some of the kind of the cool features of it. So let me show you how we're going to do that. Now Best Top rates the installation of this top at a 3 out of 4 as far as difficulty and, and it is moderately difficult. They tell you it's going to take about 4 hours. I found that to be just about spot on. Now when you start unboxing your kit, hang on to these boxes. They're going to help you to keep some of the windows and the top clean and also give you a place to put all these parts. Now start unboxing the, or unbagging all your parts and you're going to find this big bag of hardware. That also contains your instructions. You want to find that early on, pull out your instructions because they have a parts list. Now there are a lot of parts to this kit. You want to go through and make sure that you've got them all so you don't get halfway through the installation and find out you're missing something. You're also going to need just some basic hand tools to put this together. The only real oddball tool is a T30 Torx bit. Now they're also going to be referring to right and left handed parts. If you're seated in the driver's seat, the right side of the vehicle is on your right. The left side of the vehicle is on your left. All right, let's start putting this thing together. So you're gonna grab these rear door rails and also these cable guide brackets. And we're gonna attach that cable guide bracket to that, that rear door rail using this hardware. Now there's a left and a right side here, so you want to orient this little notch and the curvature of that cable guide bracket so that it fits down into that rear door rail like this, and then just tighten down this machine screw and the lock nut, putting the machine screw up through and the lock nut on top. Once you've got the one side done, go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll move to installing these on the Jeep with those cable guides installed now we can put these uh, rear door rails on the Jeep. Now you'll notice this hole is already in the tub and it corresponds with this little plastic stud on the bottom of that door rail so that you can index these correctly. As you're installing this uh, pay special attention to the weather stripping so that you don't get it folded under and this will fit down in there nicely. It kind of clips onto the roll cage now in this kit are included six threaded knobs. There's two sets of long ones and one set of short ones. You'll find a, a slot already sewn into the roll bar padding and a threaded hole already in the roll cage. So grab one of the long sets of threaded knobs and go ahead and thread it in there. Don't tighten it up yet. And then go ahead and repeat this process on the other side. Once you're done with that, we're going to move to the front, so go back to your parts, grab the front door rails and the remaining threaded knobs. You'll see they're marked left hand and right hand so that you can get them straight. Make sure you get them on the correct side of the vehicle. And you'll find that there's, again, a notch already sewn into the roll bar padding so that this thing fits right in there. It'll click in like that. Make sure you don't get the weather stripping messed up. Well, let me move to the other side to give you a little bit better view. See how it just clicks right in there. One thing you'll find real quick when you're installing this kit is it's it's obvious, it's very clear that the best top engineers worked hand in hand with the Jeep engineers. This this kit fits so well and everything's all all there. You don't have to drill anything. There's no notching, cutting, anything. Everything's just ready to go. So you take the short threaded knob and that's going to hold the back of this front rail in place and then the, the remaining long threaded knob holds the front. And again, don't tighten them down yet. 
Now, you're gonna grab these, these uh, top arches, and they're marked, there's a front one and a rear one, and you just press them in, and you'll kind of have to bend them a little bit, but once you get them in, you can go ahead and tighten down those threaded knobs, and now we'll move to the back. Now again, these brackets, they're gonna go on the rear of the roll cage, and they're marked left and right. You're gonna use these Torx bit, uh, Torx drive screws to get them in there. So go ahead to the unzip the rear roll bar padding, kind of folded it out of the way, and you'll find already installed in the roll cage some threaded inserts, and they will correspond nicely with this bracket. Thread the top one in first, because uh, you'll notice that the bottom one's slotted to accommodate for a little bit of variance in the spacing on those. And then there's already a slot sewn into the roll case or the uh, roll bar padding to accommodate this bracket. With that bracket in place, we're going to move back to our parts here and pull the actual cloth top out. Now the, the windows are folded up in it. Be very careful when you're moving these around. Keep the pieces of paper between them because the windows will scratch easily if you just lay them on the ground. So remove these two screws on each side. They're kind of holding this protective flap down and just fold that flap out of the way. Make sure you get that done on both sides. And then you'll see these two holes and those two holes. That's what we're going to use to attach the side bows. Orient the left and right side bows so that you see there's a flat spot here and the way that that hook kind of curves. So that one is going to be the right side and of course then the other one will be the left side. So go ahead and slide them in like that and then we'll screw them down in place. All right, with the ends of the side bows inserted, you're gonna align the, the holes, the pre-drilled holes in the side bows, and then screw in these, these pan head washer screws. There's two on the bottom and two on the top. You wanna do that on both sides. And then once you have those screwed in there nice and tight, then you can go ahead and replace that protective flap and put the same screws back in that came out of it. Now with those flaps fastened down and secured, you want to remove, uh, there's, there's these two protective foam seals that come with the kit. You see this little notch, you want to orient that towards the outside, and then that little semicircle goes right around that piece of hardware you just installed and then the long thin one goes in the front. So here's another look on the opposite side how to orient these. Now these are going to reduce wind noise and also moisture incursion so you want to make sure you get these in there. With the header complete you can now put the top on the Jeep this is a lot easier if you got two people, but it can be done by yourself. I did this whole install by myself, but it would, would have been easier with, with a little bit of help to move this around. Now go back to your parts and grab the number three bow assembly. It looks like this. And it's got a little spring-loaded catch down here on the bottom, and that's going to clip into that bracket that you install on the rear part of the roll cage and it just snaps right in. Super easy to install. Once you get that done on both sides, go back to your parts and grab these uh, bow stops. And then there's some little screws that go with them. Here's a little bit closer view of how you install those. There's a screw that goes on each side, orient them so they angle forward like that. 
with those installed, now go grab the number four bow assembly. And again, it has these spring-loaded catches. Orient it so the curve faces rearward like that, and then just snap it right into place. You want to do that on both sides. And then lift up this number three bow assembly and just slide it under the rear of the, of the canvas top. It's going to make these next steps easier. Then go ahead and fold the, the top forward and then fold the whole top down over the hood of the Jeep. Now if you're worried about scratching the Jeep, throw a blanket over the hood ahead of time. You just want this out of the way. Alright, now extend the side bows and then head back to your parts box for the number two bow assembly. It's easy to identify because it has these pads attached to it. So you're going to orient it so that the pads extend to the rear and the front extends like this. That's going to fit down into the J bracket that's on these side bows right there. Now from your hardware kit you're going to grab these two plastic washers and then another machine screw and a lock nut and those plastic washers are going to fit right down inside as bushings on that number two bow assembly and then you orient it into the J hook like that go ahead and tighten it down it doesn't have to be super duper tight just tighten them down snug and then once you got it done on one side Go ahead and move to the other side. Just be real careful not to drop those little washers because they are a bugger to find. Now with the, the header and the bow assemblies aligned in these tracks on top of the door rails, we're going to lock them down into place. Now these should go in easily, so if don't force them. If they're aligned correctly, they'll snap right into place, just like that. Now with this pivot knuckle screw, we're going to basically attach the number two bow assembly to the number three bow assembly in the rear. And it has this little piece of metal that extends down and it'll go right in the slot on that number two bow assembly. Screw it in nice and tight on both sides like that. And then snap that up and you'll see these three pre-drilled holes. Those are going to correspond with three holes that are pre-punched in these pads. Grab three of the pan head washer screws and screw them in. And then of course do the same on the other side. And then once you have these screwed down nice and tight, just click that down. It'll tighten those pads up nice and tight and move up to the next bow assembly just above the rear doors and again the holes are already pre-punched there's no guesswork there at all and then go ahead and extend the top all the way back we're going to start attaching it to the frame now this next step is going to be easier if you fold the front of the top back with that done grab this uh, cable pocket and slide the cable spring through it and then just slide that cable pocket up the up the cable a little bit out of the way and then there's a hole in the bottom of that number three bow corner and you hook the spring through it and then using a pair of pliers crimp the end of that that hook on the end of the spring so that it can't come back out now with these little tiny machine screws and lock nuts you're going to attach these cable pockets to that number three bow assembly and that's going to protect the top from, from that spring or any sharp edges or anything like that. I found it was easiest to put a socket on the back side and then use my electric screwdriver to screw these in. With those done, we move to the inside. And we're going to wrap these flaps around the bows. Now a couple of them are Velcro and then this one on the back actually screws into place and again the holes are pre-punched, there's no guesswork here. I start to from the middle and work my way out. I find that's easiest to do on convertible tops. And all of these holes lined up really good. I was, 
I gotta tell you guys, I was super impressed with how well this, this kit went in and how well everything fit. Now the last one is the, the number two bow assembly and it's just a Velcro flap. Now grab the left and right tailgate bar mounts and you're gonna orient them, see how this little flange right here, that goes to the outside. And these just clip right onto the tub, no drilling, no screws or anything like that. With those in place, we're gonna start putting the, the rear quarter panel or the quarter windows in. And there's just a plastic tube and a C-channel and they slide into place. And then there's this kind of uh, button up on the top that goes into a rubber grommet in that number three bow assembly. Now there are no zippers in this whole system and it's it's awesome. You know, over 25 years of doing upholstery, I can't tell you how many zippers I've replaced in Jeep tops. They're just they're always a failure point. So the fact that Best Top has completely removed zippers from this system altogether, I think is is great. Uh, it should really increase the longevity of these tops and make them a lot more maintenance free. So on your rear door uh, your rear door channels there. There's a there's a vertical slot, and there is a corresponding plastic tab that just w slides into that slot, and then work your way back. Now I I put this this bottom slot in the from the rear forward. You really should do it from the from the front back. That'll help eliminate wrinkles in that rear window. Grab the rear window, and again it's just got a C channel and a tube, and it'll slide right on. There's a a channel in the quarter windows and then a plastic tab on the rear window and they just lock into place again no zippers grab the uh, tailgate bar and it too has a, a little channel it'll slide right on and then lock it down into those tailgate bar mounts it fits nice and tight it'll take a little bit of effort to get it in there the first time especially if it's a cold day but it seals up nice and tight with the tailgate now the cool thing about this top is it allows you to just open the front without having to remove the whole top. So essentially you, you have a sunroof with a soft top. Well that completes the install of this uh, best top. I'm really impressed with it. That's very well made. Now guys, I'm not just blowing smoke here. Like I said, I've done upholstery for 25 years. I've installed dozens of tops. And man, when you've got a bad one that's poorly made, it's, it just makes the job horrible. This top is well made. It is outstanding. I'm very impressed by it. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to take our relationship to the next level, go visit our Patreon account. I'm probably still going to see other people, though. Thanks for watching. See you next week.